Hey guys, John Koa, Wood to Water. I know what you're asking yourself right now. There's no wood and there's no water because this is the kitchen. This is the third part of each series um, where we come into the kitchen and James happens to be a fantastic cook and we are going to be cooking what we got on the hunt part of the series. So the way it works is the wood is the build so the beginning is the build that's first episode second episode is the hunt and then this part of the episode is the kitchen so we get to go through in detail how we make such amazing entrees and you guys can learn something from it and like it and if you want to give us any suggestions um feel free to in the messages below go ahead and send us some suggestions of something you'd like to see uh, we usually do this a few times a month just on the regular with a camera or not. And we usually drink with it. Um, so one of my favorite drinks to make is, and we'll try to throw a drink in each episode, maybe. But one of my favorite drinks is, uh, you can call it a margarita, but it's not because it's better. Um, it's missing a lot of things a margarita would be missing, but um, I like the tequila. So you throw in a little bit, shot or two of tequila. It's pretty easy to make. And then you put in agave. And the agave, most people that mess with it know that it's like a syrup and you can't mix it with anything cold, not right away. It has to be mixed with the tequila and you kind of have to move it around or else it wants to congeal and solidify. So you put those two together, add the citrus, which is one whole lime in one of these fancy lime squeezing things. I don't know what the technical name is, but they really get the juice out. But one whole lime. And then add some kind of seltzer water, whatever your flavor is, uh, LaCroix, Waterloo, whoever. There's a thousand of them out there. You can use any one of them. Just add that in there, about half of one. And then just take a glass full of ice. Notice, make sure that the agave is mixed in. You'll notice with the citrus and the alcohol, the agave will kind of blend into them. Make sure that's mixed in when it's mixed in. Keep tossing it back and forth three or four times. And enjoy it. It's one of my favorite drinks. It always goes down smooth. So for today's episode, what we're making is that Wahoo. We're going to do it two different ways. Uh, the first way is going to be sweet potato crusted, which, you know, some people, for those that say it's a sin to cook Wahoo, we are going to do a sushimi as well. So you're going to get a video of both of them. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Um, just like all of our Koa products, it's, every episode is going to get better with each episode. We're going to improve and improve and improve. That's just what we do by nature. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So before we get started, just so you know, I'm average not even average at best of a cook so when i ask questions it's because i really want to know what what's going on because i couldn't recreate the stuff that he does so james what's actually the raw ingredients what do we need well, it's pretty simple today we're just going with the wahoo mm -hmm. sweet potato lemon tomatoes spring onions and some asparagus on the side I'll put a little rice on and those little tomatoes. Nice simple. Cherry tomatoes. Ginger, right? That's for the sushi, right? This is for the sushi. Yeah. Okay. All right. And soy sauce. And for the sushi, correct. sushi. Perfect. All right, man. Let's get to it. Kid, I remember my my mom had that same exact one the box shredder and she used to make pizza from just from scratch I used to love it me and my brother would sit there and try to shred it all the way up to the top and then pull off like a cheese pyramid you know yeah we were poor James <laughs> no we just like making our own pizza it never was any good but we enjoyed doing it
too big, but no, I don't sure mind. Can... I don't mind more. <laughs> I'll take more. Now, what's the best part about Wahoo sashimi? Did I say it right? Sashimi? Yeah. <laughs> is it the texture? Is it the flavor? It's all of the above. It's yeah. fresh. It's a beautiful texture. Yeah, it's one of my Delicious favorites. fish. Hard to mess up. It is. That's very low cooking time. Mm-hmm. And the best part about Wahoo is they're big. So you get a lot of this. Perfect. Enjoy. Awesome. Perfect. Enjoy. Looks good, man. There's the sushi. There's the sushi. Perfect. So that's our episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to keep doing these with different species of fish, grouper, yellow jack, uh, African pompano tuna, whatever we can come across because we have so many people that we want to do these videos with and we have endless custom builds. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, one note about Wahoo, especially, and with all fish for that matter, especially if you're going to do sushi, it's got to be fresh. Don't freeze it because if, once you freeze it, in my opinion, it degrades the fish by like 20, 30 percent. It just does not taste the same. So Wahoo, we never freeze. And if we do freeze it, James has a way of flash freezing it that we'll do in a future video. So he freezes it within seconds and that's the way to do it for sushi. You just have to be really careful when you're eating fish of this quality. So again, I hope you liked it. If there's any episodes you'd like to see, please throw them in the comments below. We'll see you on the next episode of From Wood to Water.